my friends. Welcome to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new here, hello and welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. Today, if you can't guess from the logo alone, I'm going to be unboxing an order from Die Moon Shop or DIY Moon Shop. And on this one, they actually went ahead and I had them change my name over, name over to uh, Diamonds and Washi. So that's fun. Look how pretty this paper is. Okay, I did go ahead and take it out of the outer plastic wrap because it always takes a bit for me to just be able to cut through that. As it is, we have plenty of other wrapping to get through. So how are you doing today? I hope you're doing really well. If you're not familiar with DIY Moon Shop, they are a kind of like a premium level diamond painting company. They carry work that is all legally licensed from artists. I feel bad to rip this, but there's not really another way to do it. <laughs> not an elegant way anyway. Um, and DIY Moon Shop's kits are all entirely made to order. So they don't have any kits sitting in a warehouse. Once you place your order, then it's made for you. So while the turnaround time, well, hold on. <laughs> So while the turnaround time is on the longer side, they do a nice job of keeping you posted on where your order is at and once it's sort of in the queue, once it's come in for them. As you can tell, <laughs> they package it with a whole lot of care. <laughs> so I can't complain about that at all. DIY Moon Shop is one of those companies that is one of my favorites to order from, but I, because they are kind of a premium level company, um, I will save up <laughs> and, and order from them. I tend to order multiple kits at once as well because the shipping is on the higher side. You'll pay a little bit more for the shipping, but it is sort of express shipping. So once it leaves where they're based in the Philippines, it's usually to you within, what is happening in here? Um, within a few days, so <laughs> that is nice. I wanna say that it was around, six, this is around six weeks from the time that I ordered, which is really not bad. This is an interesting way to package it. So they've got goodies in here and then the can canvas is wrapped around. That's a nice way to prevent from wrapping the canvases too tightly. But yes, they are a, small family owned business. Their customer service is usually really great. My experience with them has been really wonderful. I'm, and of course, whenever I'm doing unboxings or sharing my thoughts on companies, whether negative or positive, I'm, I'm only sharing from my own experience. I'm not going to speak for anyone else. But like I said, I've had really, really positive experiences with them. And if I've ever run into an issue, they're quick to want to fix it. So, okay. Ooh, ooh. Look at all those drills and goodies. All right, so, my goodness. So, <laughs> bear with me here, my goodness gracious. All right. So, I have three sets of drills because I ordered three kits. These were all new releases, and so they all came with matching cover minders. Now, DIY Moon Shop does alternate. Is this just random extra packaging? Um, DIY Moon Shop does cycle. Yeah, that's just, that was nice. They kind of used it to help fill out the, <laughs> fill that out. Um, they run different promos each month. Sometimes you'll see some of the same promos from month to month. But just because like I got a particular promo with this order doesn't mean that that's uh, the promo that they're running for this month's new releases. Anyway, this they always include little gifts. <laughs> got some cute stickers. Add those to my sticker collection. I will show you the matching cover minders in a bit. And then they did send their toolkits. They usually send kind of a lot. There's gonna be like six pens in here and like six green trays and a bunch of wax. I do believe that you can request for them to leave the toolkits out. I just found that out recently when I was watching um, Jessica, Tiny Worlds of Wonder, one of her videos and where she was unboxing a DIY moon shop. And I was like, oh, 
I didn't know that you could request for them to leave out the toolkits. I don't need any more of those. I just as soon save on the plastic. So, okay, like I said, I have three kits here. Two of them were new releases, and here's why this is really special to me anyway. <laughs> So two of these are from the artist Cheriyuki and are pieces that I had sent to DIY Moonshop and requested that they license for diamond paintings. Now, I can't say that these were <laughs> licensed because of my request, but I did request the two of these at the same time and they both appeared licensed just a month or two later. So I like to think that at least maybe I helped nudge it along. Anyway, Cheriyuki is one of my very favorite artists that they license with. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. I know which one this is on top and I will show it to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. Oh, this looks so pretty. Okay, do any of you recognize this right off of the, off the bat? This is from an anime and manga that I am just so fond of, so, so fond of. And this piece is called Fruits Basket, and that's the name of the manga and the anime. And this is the main character, Toru, and this cat is Kyo. So <laughs> I am so excited. I actually didn't know if they would license this one because it's technically fan art. And then I realized, oh no, they have a lot of like work from artists that's technically fan art and it's all above board. So look how cute. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I got all of these in round drills, but I will double check. But first let's go ahead and measure. So I got this in the 45 by 65, which I believe is the mid size. We are just, oh, we're right at 45 there, maybe just a tick short. And 65 on the nose. So it is true to size. The canvas looks really crisp and clean. You can see we have branding at the bottom. We have, they always put little stickers with the name and your, your name and the name of the piece there at the bottom. Let's take a look at the drill field and see what we think of the symbols. These are all pretty light colored. For me, it's usually the darker ones that I have issues with, but I do want to check and make sure that this is all the number five and that none of those are the letter S. I'll double check the legend. Oh, here's the S. Okay, so the S and the five are on slightly different color backgrounds, so hopefully that will not be confusing. The fives are a little, a little bit on the faint side, just a little bit on the faint side, but if I don't see any others that are going to want to trip me up, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. The problem for me is if the colors and the symbols are really similar to one another. Look at her cute face. <laughs> Most of these symbols look like symbols that I've seen before on Diamond Shops kits. And nothing is giving me cause for concern. Look at that color blocking white. <laughs> Let's hope that these drills are nice and consistently sized for that. I'm going to do a quick sticky test on the glue. Ooh, yes. Okay. I, when I peeled that back, I was like, Ooh, that's peeling back really nicely. There's something about this that feels like it's just a little bit higher quality. Like they've kind of gotten some of their quality control hiccups out of you know out of the way so yay let's take a really quick look at the drills so in your bags of drills they do include some extra plastic baggies if you need them there's also there's a walking legend here a walking legend i did not come up with the term but it's just rather than putting the legend on the canvas they've done this nice gray border on it and it really is basically frame ready or hanging ready um, you don't have to cut a legend off of it. So we have the walking legend and there's that number five. Just confirming. Some of these are just a little faint, but not problematically so, I don't think. Okay. Then here's our colors. I'm not 
going to pull these out right now. Since they're round drills, I'm not as worried about trash or quality issues, but you know what? I will pull out a color or two. Okay, I feel like, oops, sorry about that. Often it's like these grays or lavenders that I sometimes have run into inconsistently sized drills. But, or trash even. So far, do I keep bumping that? So sorry. These are looking really good to me. I'm not seeing any trash. This big old bag of pink. <laughs> no, to me, the quality on these actually looks really excellent. Okay, great. All right. So let me shift this one to the side. And next up, this is the other piece that I had requested. And that is the absolutely beautiful, the Guardian, or just Guardian. I don't think there's a the there. Now, just a really quick note for you. You might be seeing how it looks like this canvas is a little bit wrinkled. Um, there are two things we can do about that. One, we can roll it the opposite direction and that will help it lay flat. You can do this with poured glue canvases. However, it's not recommended for double-sided adhesive or mounted glue canvases. So that helps significantly. And then also I like to pull back the plastic cover, pull back about halfway, and then just slowly roll it back down. And even if there's like little wrinkles that show up uh, as we put it back down, that's just in the plastic. That's not on the canvas. The bottom here is just a little bit folded over, but that's not a big deal. Now I actually, while DIY Moonshop's canvases are not super plush, super soft, like you might see from some other companies, I don't mind it. I actually like that they have a higher quality stiff canvas like it doesn't feel like a cheap stiff canvas to me it's it's a sturdy canvas it's a canvas that holds the drills so nicely and i imagine actually makes framing a little bit easier because the canvas is a little bit stiffer and doesn't want to like flop over <laughs> so let's do a quick measurement on this one which I also got this one, it was 45 by 66, so it's a little bit taller by a whole centimeter <laughs> than Fruits Basket. 66, yep. And it should be 45. And it's a tick short of 45, that's fine. But this looks just, doesn't that look dreamy? Oh my goodness. And. I don't think that the printing on the canvas does this justice. I hope that the drills and the charted colors will, but she's kneeling in this beautiful pink flower. Beautiful pink flower. Now, I have to double check. I don't believe that I, I'm pretty sure, I don't think I got any special treatments with any of my kits, but I have some old gold drills from DP with sparklers and I definitely am gonna put some in the moon here and maybe like in her crown and here I don't think I showed you guys the top of the canvas maybe these stars in her hair and throughout here I don't want to go too crazy blinging it out because I don't want it to be overpowering but maybe just a little bit like just to elevate it a little bit oh my goodness Cheriyuki is easily one of my favorite artists that DIY Moonshop licenses with. And I've worked on several pieces of hers and completed them. And I'm always so happy with the finished effect of the rendering. Different diamond painting companies have distinct rendering styles. One isn't better than the other. It's more a matter of what do you personally prefer? 
And I like that DIY Moonshop, that so many of their artists lend themselves really well to DIY Moonshop's rendering style. Cheriyuki is absolutely one of those. So I'm really excited to get to work on these two new releases from her. And I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to them, but hopefully soon. Uh, before we look at my third kit, let me go ahead and show you the drills. Again, we have extra baggies. Here is the image. I didn't show you that on Fruits Basket, but there's that. And then, I actually, I haven't looked at the symbols on the canvas either, but we'll take an initial look here. There are 45 colors. And you know what? I think nearly every DIY Moonshop kit I've worked on has had 45 colors. I think that's their standard. The exceptions would be things like crystal drill kits because there aren't 45 different colors of crystal. <laughs> All right. I think I did that. I think I made that little fold there. A little bit, okay, this is, ooh. That is nearly impossible to read. Is it more legible in the camera? Okay, we're looking at this gray symbol. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, it's like a really light blue. It's over here too. Okay, I don't like that. Hold on a second. So we're looking for, I must, I bet it's this one. I bet that that's an ampersand because they use the ampersand as one of their symbols. Even with lighting, I can't get it to show up. Uh, it has to be that. I really think it has to be. The only other blue with white text is this letter P. Let's find a letter P and confirm. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we've got the letter P here and then this basically invisible symbol there. So the P you can tell is distinct from that. I think that's an ampersand. Yikes. Yeah, I'll send a message over to them and let them know. I feel like they're generally receptive to printing issues like that because they don't want you to have a hard time with, with reading their canvases. I think they just have a set of symbols that they usually work from that they just print with different background colors. But that, you know, it's like if that symbol were in combination with another symbol on the canvas, if there were another symbol on the canvas that had a similar issue, like a really pale background like that with white text, like you'd be toast. You'd be totally toast. Um, yeah, I really think wasn't the K. There's an eight that's on kind of an olive background. I just want to be sure. Let me find an eight. Hmm. Well, there it is. There's some. Okay, so it's definitely not the eight because there's the eight. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the ampersand symbol. I'm gonna send them a message and just let them know like, hey, maybe um, change this with your manufacturer, you know, your printing company, like the symbols, you know, is really difficult to read. I know what it is because of process of elimination. But again, if there were anything that were very similar to that on there, I would be really, really worried about mixing that up. So, first, look at these colors. Look at those pinks. Oh, all those pale, pale pastels and pinks. I love it. Let's pull out a couple of colors to look at. That's a cute color combo. <laughs> These drills look so much cleaner to me. They really do. And I'm picky. Like, I, I tend to have one or two colors in my DIY Moonshop kits that will have issues with like 
pooled like resin or acrylic like at the bottom of the at the base of the drill like it wasn't cleanly cut or poured um, I'm not gonna go through every single color right now but please rest assured that when I do post reviews which I always do post reviews on these kits that I will note any issues that I had there's a tiny bit of trash in this one tiny tiny bit but what I'm seeing so far from the colors that I've pulled out, they look good to me. If you notice tiny little dimples on the bottoms of the drills, like the flat sides, uh, the tiny little dimples, like the little pinprick looking holes almost, those are not problematic. Um, the issue is if the drill is concave and looks like someone just scooped the bottom out, because if the bottom isn't flat, like aside from like this tiny little pinprick dimple, if the bottom's not flat, it doesn't stick to the canvas. So, all right. Let's take a look at this last kit that we have. This is a smaller one, but I couldn't resist this one and largely got it because I know that my husband will really appreciate it actually. Look, it's Totoro. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's a little wrinkled. Let's let's go fix that for us. And this one is smaller. This one is definitely smaller. I went with, this is the 30 by 43. Now I am, a, I used to be really, really nervous about getting the smaller sizes from DIY Moon Shop. As it turns out, as I've seen dot by dot by e over on instagram and then Lindsay over at emeralds and fairy lights here on youtube they have both worked on the smaller sizes of these kits to sort of test out um how does the rendering look and is it worth it to go ahead and get smaller sizes and the benefit being if you get a smaller size kit it's a little bit more affordable so this one i don't know what all the size options were i think this was the smallest but i thought just given the subject matter and the sort of style of the artwork i think that the size will be fine how cute is that <laughs> has anyone seen the movie my neighbor totoro a little bit of a theme here with the anime with this and the fruits basket one but so stinking cute now again let me measure. <laughs> Even though this is smaller than the other two kits, this still has 45 colors. <laughs> so this is just a tick shy of 30. And then we should have, that's again, a tick shy of 43. So it's true to size. We'll call that true to size. The canvas looks clean and whatnot. This looks so cute. I love it. So here is our legend. Oh no, we have another light blue with white. We'll look at the canvas here in a moment. Don't really wanna get rid of these. Okay, you get the idea. I'll pull that out. Okay, let's look at the canvas. I wanna find that faint blue symbol. these pretty greens and this is from the artist I didn't mention this this is I believe this is Sybil art I'm gonna have to double check that is that right I'll double check it and I'll um I'll link to each of these listings in the description of course so here is that light blue symbol with white print I can make out that shape better than that ampersand on the other canvas Look how cute. Oh gosh. When I showed Adam this piece and told him I'd gotten it, he was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love it. He really loves my neighbor Tortoros <laughs> as well. So here are our colors. Lots of greens with like some of these pinks and reds. I feel like there's going to be, you know, a dozen of them on the canvas, but pretty colors. Love that. Okay, let's pull out just a couple. Now, I've been I've been taking my time with this unboxing, so I won't keep you too much longer. Look at these greens. Look at 
these oranges, kind of burnt orange. Oh, I love those. Ooh, is that 939? No. Three, oh, we have 310. Ooh, let's look at our 310. Again, this is looking good to me. Now, I do notice that Diamond Shop's drills have a little bit more of a matte finish, usually. These look maybe a little sparklier than I've seen their 310s, but we'll see once we get into it. All right. <laughs> this big bag of this really pale, pale yellow green. Yeah. I am really happy with the drill quality that I'm seeing on all of these kits, for sure. All right, let me pull these three kits out, <laughs> back out, to just have to, for us to look at while I, I'll show you the matching cover minders that came with these, so, so cute. I can't get over it. I love it so much. <laughs> all right, here we go. Matching cover minders, so... These, I kind of just collect. They also could be fridge magnets. But there we go. Yes, it is Sybil art. Cute. I love that. That's going to be really cute as a diamond painting, I'm sure. <laughs> they had some really incredible releases that month. Oh my goodness. They had several Cheriyuki releases. Look at that guardian. There you can get a better sense for that pink flower. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm loving all of the new releases that they've had lately. It's it's dangerous. <laughs> and then finally, here's Fruits Basket. Love Cheriyuki's art style so much. I love it. I love it. All right, so that's all that I have for you guys today. But... Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Which of these is your favorite? Do you recognize either the Fruits Basket or the My Neighbor Totoro <laughs> characters? And did you get your hands on any of these kits or any of those new releases from that month a couple months ago? Um, as always, though, let me know if you have any questions or thoughts or concerns down in the comments. I'm always happy to answer. I've really, really loved getting to share this. DIY Moon Shop unboxing with you. These are always a treat and always one of my very favorite things. I am so thrilled with these kits and only wish that I had more hours in a day to diamond paint them. But um, if this video was helpful for you, please give a thumbs up before you head on out of here. And if you're not already subscribed and would like to see more diamond painting content from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I do share new videos, which is a few times a week. So. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a really wonderful week. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye friends.